Let's open the Trigger Manager page, click on Add on the left, select OSC Manager, where OSC stands for Open Sound Control, and select the network interface you want to use among the ones available and finally click on Add. In this example, Touch OSC on iPad is our OSC client. Any other software or hardware OSC device could be used as well. Let's make sure the settings, such as the host IP address, outgoing and incoming ports, match the ones set in Globcon. On our Touch OSC, there's a bunch of pre-programmed pages with faders, buttons, rotary encoders, nicely organized to trigger several parameters from different devices, all of them controlled by Globcon. To double-check that the connection is working, let's select the new trigger manager and click on Learn. Move some faders and check if the relevant OSC commands appear in the list. Perfect! We will learn all the required commands later, so let's clear and move on. Let's start controlling the first eight flex channels of a Prodigy MP. Make sure your multi-selection is clear and multi-select the first eight flex channels. Since the order is important, let's shift and mouse drag starting from channel number one. With the right click, we activate the pop-up and select Assign Level Trigger and click on Learn. Since we started from a multi-selection of eight flex channel, the learning tool is waiting for eight different OSC commands. On the iPad running Touch OSC, we then move the eight faders we want to assign from the first to the last. The relevant OSC commands appear on the Globcon learning tool and we are ready to click on Assign All. Thanks to the bidirectional OSC communication, immediately the client is updated with the current values. Clear the multi-selection to appreciate the movement of few faders. We can operate on Globcon with the mouse or the touchpad or on the iPad running Touch OSC and all the faders will react in real time, always aligned. That is confirmed by recalling snapshots. Both the Globcon plugin and the OSC client are immediately updated. We can now trigger further parameters, multi-selecting the first eight flex channels, right-click and select Assign Mute Trigger. Click on Learn and actually pressing on the iPad one by one in the right order the eight mute buttons and finalize the operation by clicking on Assign All. As seen before, we can now operate on Globcon or on the iPad to toggle the mute buttons of our Prodigy MP Flex channels. Let's now learn all the triggers we need to fully control the first matrix. Starting from the master buses, levels and mutes, using the learning procedure we've seen before, followed by the 16 levels and mutes of the stereo bus sense. ending with a couple of pan pot control. We can now control our matmix from the OSC client and from Globcon. Recalling snapshots and always have the controllers aligned in real time. The OSC client is talking to Globcon, so we are not limited to one device. We can trigger any parameter of any device controlled by Globcon using just one external OSC controller. For example, let's use a different page on our iPad to control the mic preamps of our Prodigy MC. 
Make sure your multi-selection is clear. Select the mic pre-channels and learn first the levels, the pad buttons, and finally the phantom power switch. We are ready to fully control our mic breeze from the iPad running Touch OSC from Globcon and getting an updated situation on the external controller in case a snapshot which tweaked those settings should be recalled. Let's add parameters of a third device. A Matchbox Excel, for example, where we want to control the level and the mute of the headphones. If the Smart plugin is active, we could also externally trigger the Smart Noise Generator level and on and off status. Now we want to have buttons for global snapshot recall. Selecting one by one the several snapshots and learning one by one the relevant buttons on our iPad, we will be able to recall any global snapshot in a matter of a touch on our external OSC controller. What if you want to automatically recall a specific Globcon layout when changing the page on the external OSC controller? Easy! Let's go to the menu Layout and select Layout Trigger. From the drop-down menu of the first layout named MP, we select Learn and select the appropriate page on the iPad. Since also the selection of a new page can send a specific OSC command that is automatically learned by Globcon and used to trigger the layout recall. We repeat the whole operation for the Andiamo MC and for the Matchbox XL. Every time we select one of those triggering page, Globcon automatically recalls the desired layout. We could tune the Prodigy MC layout to show straight the Mic Preamps tab if we want. The entire trigger list is always saved in the Globcon project. So when loading it, not only all the devices, snapshots, global snapshots and layout are recalled, but also the programmed triggers. Once the project loading is over, we are ready to operate, even with the external OSC controller. Powerful. Easy. Glopcon.